went on to do a, a thing called Children's Songbook, which uh, was one of, one of my favourite director CD-ROMs. It was 15 different songs and uh, had different language translations and games and other activities. And then later I did a thing called Painter's Painting, which was one of my less favourite director CD-ROMs. Not, not that there's anything wrong with it, but it, uh, it was not that interesting uh, as a as a program and the, the producer designer I worked with was in the process of leaving Voyager at the time so it took us a long time to uh, to get that one out of the door there we go so that's um, gives you some of the sense of, of the things I did at least up until about um, 12 years ago after that uh, I was working on lots of uh, museum kiosks like the planetarium in New York and the experience music project in Seattle and I've done other CD-ROMs and lots and lots of um, online activities and games uh, which I were in um, director or in shockwave up until about seven years ago now at that time my colleagues were all doing Flash, which of course, because I did director, I hated Flash. But there came a time when I was the only one available to work on something in Flash, so I had to figure out Flash, and that was about seven or eight years ago. And so for the last seven years I've been doing Flash full time. So there you go, you, you sometimes you, you don't have a choice, you have to learn other tools as, as, you, as you need to. Now, with Revolution, um, I have not yet shipped a single thing in Revolution, but I've actually been registered for it for a few years because I believe in it. It's kind of like HyperCard on steroids and it's what Apple should have kept around and I probably would still be working in HyperCard if they had it done. And I do see uses for re uh, Revolution. Oh, I say Revolution, I'm, I'm like Jim. Um, I do see uses for live code. And... Um, but right for now, I just experiment things. I, I, I use it for utility purposes and so on. Um, but I'm going to show you one of the first things that I did in a minute to uh, when I played around with LiveCard for the first time, which is to do with image data. So I'm just going to take a pause there. By the way, um, please... Um, please type any questions as you think of them. I've got a, a quite a good view of my chat chat window. Um, okay. Now, the way that image data in live code works is kind of bizarre, and it's the least w or the worst way of any that I know of doing it, except for on the Apple II. The way that the memory worked on the Apple II was worse than this. Um, almost every other system there is just works uh, I, I hope you can hear me Mark I'll wave back um, almost every other tool works with X and Y coordinates and you just get some image data and you say what's the pixel at this X and that Y uh, it's not that um, straightforward uh, in, in live code at all um, and I'm not sure why it's, it, it is the way that it is. It might have been a good solution just to be able to deal with GIFs and PNGs and JPEGs and all these different bitmap formats. Um, and uh, that could be the reason for it. Um, can so anybody else just tell Mark that they have sound? <laughs> well, I did, but I don't know if he heard it. I should, you should type it. There you go. Thank you, Thunder. Did you notice how Thunder said his thing a few seconds after after the others? Anyway, back to uh, image data then. Um, in your window, you'll see a little stack that I only actually made last night, but it, it was to show off the... Um, the way that this all works. And I'll actually 